Before I get on with the characters, I'd like to do something else that has to do with making my previews a little bit faster. I like using the Scene Optimizer product by V3 Digitimes. And that is a tool that lets you reduce the texture maps on objects. So while this Albert Mansion is absolutely spectacularly beautiful, it is extremely high res. And there's a lot of uh, detail in this that for my scene later, I'm not gonna actually need. So all this detail here on the ivy and on the bricks and stuff, I'm not going to need that because for me, it's going to be an object with depth of field applied just in the background. And as such, I don't need to burden the render engine with all that detail that I'd have to pull in for every um, preview render. So that's not really necessary. So what I like doing is uh, run the scene optimizer. So I'll just go quickly do that. I've just edited a video about this and uh, it'll, it'll come out soon that has a lot more information on it. It's under the Utilities tab. I'll just quickly run you through it. There's four icons here, and the first one will write a text file with all the current maps in the scene. So I'm just going to go and run that and put that in my Halloween folder. I'm going to make a subfolder in this folder, and I'm going to call it Scene Optimizer. And that's where I'll save my file, and I'll call that Halloween Mansion. And that's just going to pull out a text file. So that's done. Now we're going to go and use the second icon here. And that will now offer us to reduce all the maps in the scene. And that'll just make for faster preview renders as we go along. This folder here is important. I like to set that and browse to a new folder, which is also on my desktop in the Halloween folder. In the Scene Optimizer folder, I've misspelled it one of those things. In it, I'm going to make a new folder and that's going to be called Maps. That's just me being particular because uh, anything that will end up here, that's where the reduced maps are. So if I wanted to take this into the cloud or onto a different computer for rendering, I like having it all in one place. This list on the bottom tells me all the maps that will be reduced as this part. So we have the mansion, we have the ground, uh, mansion and ground are 4K maps, the rest of them are 2K maps, and I might just go and reduce them quite severely by a factor of four. So that means a 4K map will be reduced to a 1K map. A 2K map will be reduced to a 512 map. That does sound a bit harsh, doesn't it? Maybe 2. 2 is fine. <laughs> 2 is fine. Let's go run it. And we're hopefully not going to run into any issues. And you can see that Scene Optimizer now takes every map, reduces it, and applies the reduced map. And then we're going to have faster previews. If we needed to restore any of the original high-res maps, you can do that. That's, that's what the other two scripts are for. It'll take a moment, but it'll make your rendering and preview life while you build a scene so much easier. So just to reiterate, if you use the factor of two, then that means the reduction in your maps is actually by four. So 4K map will become a 2K map, but it means that it is actually reducing the size of the map by more than 50%. In fact, 50%, that would be like a 3K map. But uh, from going to 4K to 2K, that is actually more like 75% or like a 70% reduction. So be aware of that. That's it. We can just go leave it and um, and close out the script. If we wanted to restore anything, we can just use either of these tools and the text file we've made initially, and then just click an object or click a surface, call any of these scripts that will restore the high-ray maps on our object.